Hello everybody, Bettina, your Austrian travel mummy right here. So today for lunch we'll be making pasta with minced beef, broccoli, zucchini and carrots. For that I've prepared already the ingredients. So we have some rosemary for flavor right there. You have the minced beef. I have some spaghetti, but you can use whatever pasta you like. Some broccoli. Some pepper, olive oil, a zucchini, and some carrots. And uh, so we'll start right with the pasta. You put it in a pot and then boil it. You actually have always the directions on how long to boil it on the pasta yourself. I don't use any salt in the pasta water. As for the little one, they don't need any salt at all. And in the same time, I put the broccoli, I'll cut it in little pieces and boil it as well. So here we are for the broccoli. I washed it and then you just cut off the florets as good as possible. Careful that you don't cut yourself. Really generous. Put those away. And then I just cut them along like this. And if they're longer, so you get nice little pieces like that right there. And you just continue doing that with all of them. If they're too big, like for example this one, you just cut them again in half, so it's getting smaller. And you can continue that with the entire broccoli. So here we go. Now we have the entire broccoli cut. You just take your cutting board, lift it, and put all the broccoli together in some plain water, right there. Right here, you can see you have to put the water and you just add the broccoli. On the side, I already have the pasta cooking. As you can see, it's going already. So a good trick is always to put a wooden spoon on top so actually it doesn't boil over the water it's very practical so you don't always have to look push them on the side and I put the spoon just to make sure it's in there and the next so next I put the broccoli in the pot right now. Here we are. So here we are. We have now the entire broccoli in the water and ready to boil. Now I washed both of my carrots and the zucchini. I cut off the edge on all of them. Right here. I start with the carrot as this will be something that takes longer to boil. I have a grater right there, you can choose the little one or the big one, and then you just break them. I just feel like this is the easier way for the little one to chew the carrots, as they can be hard sometimes to chew, and to always cut them just in little sticks. It's a lot of work for us, just grating them is actually faster. And you do that with the carrots and the zucchini. So here we go, all my carrots are grated now and you just add them now to the boiling water of the broccoli right in there. So your broccoli and carrots are boiling the water now. Now you continue grating your zucchini. Same as always. Here we go, you have your zucchini. Careful that you actually don't cut yourself with it. There we go, wash my hands. And now I actually do have a pan. And I will be adding some olive oil I have right there with rosemary. Here we go, not too much, you don't actually need much. And you'll just add 
put the uh, zucchini to it. Right. Here we go. So we have the zucchini. It doesn't matter if there's small little pieces left of the carrots. You have the carrot uh, and broccoli boiling. And you also have your spaghetti boiling right there. And now you wait till the pan is getting a little bit hot. Or you can already have done that before, whichever you prefer. I actually don't think there's a big difference. And then you just add the minced beef to it. Right there, always make sure you take the paper off. And here we are. Then you either take a um, spatula or a cooking spoon, whichever is your favorite cooking utensil. And you break up your minced beef in little sections. There we go. And you let it cook. In the meantime, you can add some pepper to it. And I will be adding some rosemary. This is little pieces, you can add thin one, whichever you like, or you can add any kind of other spice, that's no problem at all, whichever you prefer. So here we go, I just take a little handful of the rosemary and sprinkle it right over the mince beef right there and spread it out. And you do the same with the peppers. I already grinded it before, so all I have to do is spread it a bit over it. And now you just wait till your um, spaghetti are cooked. I personally don't look at the time, I just look how they look. Sounds weird. And then I taste them. And also stir around the broccoli and the carrots and wait till they're soft. And then turn it to the other side. You have right here the beef and everything. The pan is hot. Then I will just spread them up a little bit more. And let them cook. Don't stir too much, but make sure the beef is all fully cooked. So, most likely, your broccoli and carrots are finished before. So all you do is all you do is take your pot and put it in the noodle seat and put it back. This is the easiest way to remove the water. Shake it a bit. Here we go. Soft broccoli and soft carrots right there for you. And then you put them back in your pot. And I put them on the side for now. You check then on your pasta. Best thing to do is actually try them. But they're still in a couple of minutes. And here we are. We have the minced beef. You turn it over. Once your pasta is finished, you do the same as you just did with the broccoli. So here we are. Take your pot. Put your pasta in it. I actually take some cold water. Go through the pot that all the pasta goes out. And then take your pasta. Take it around, let it cool down a bit. Match and go right there. Here we are. And then I'll actually add them to the pot with the broccoli and the carrots. So now we're just waiting for the minced beef to fully cook. Just all depends on what kind of stove you have. So here we are, and when your minced beef is still finishing, you add some little olive oil to your pasta and the broccoli.
Ashley and carrots. And you mix it right around. That you have it nice and colorful. I know it might take a while, but this way it's better. And you spread your olive oil. Then you have your minced beef, which is finished. All you do is just add it to the pasta with the broccoli and the carrots. Always make sure you clean your pan. So we don't want to waste any food. Here we go, put that in the sink. And then again, let's just mix it all up. So all the flavor of the minced beef, zucchini, broccoli and carrots is going with the pasta. And here we are. And then if you feel like you still want to add some spices, you can. I most of the time only add some pepper. Give it a little taste. Again, for the little ones, no salt. But for yourself, you can always add some salt. My favorite tip is Himalaya salt, but that's just a purple personal preference. So I will be using again the bunny plate. Today for fruits you will have some kiwi and some pear, just because we bought some. And yeah, you just plate it and you have a nice relatively quick meal. And it's healthy and little ones love to eat spaghetti. I mean, they can play it with it. Also, it's quite good for sensory. And yeah, definitely a great meal. Not too long, healthy, lots of vegetables in it. And I hope you enjoy your meal. Again, if you want to find out more how I make money with these videos, just let me know, send me a message. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bon appétit and talk to you soon. Bye bye.